just for the record do not skip any part of this video if not let's just say you're gonna have to watch it about 20 times we're going to install the utm4 for, for mac os apple silicon today so search for utm install on safari and click the first link that goes to the main native website that created the app now make sure you download it i'm going to skip this part because i did it already and we have something else to download that's the windows isco for arm i'm going to use it for this process so i'm going to paste the link of this in the youtube description so check that for it but i'm going to open the link that i already have and i'm going to download it for you to see how i do it all right so make sure you get that downloaded also i have downloaded that so i'm going to just keep this process so now go to your downloads folder and you can see utm and the iso both downloaded so make sure you have those two and now time to install utm so double click on the dmg and drag it to the app folder and it's going to copy and it's done installing so open utm click create a new virtual machine and windows okay so do it as i've done it install windows 10 or higher do not click the second one click the last one then you select downloads folder again for your iso which that's all you need right now okay so select the first iso which is what we downloaded recently and make sure install drivers and space tools is checked you're going to need that in the future so let's proceed allocate half of your memory to that and also leave it at 64 gig is recommended all right so we need to create a directory i already did that you can create one anywhere yeah and we need to name our virtual machine i left it at windows 2 so you click on save as soon as you are done with that all right so it's time to hit the play icon to start the process all right so now it's going to boot all right so it's currently booting and you can see we are in the area where we installed the windows and everything is going to go very smoothly here i do not have a product screen neither do you click on that and windows 11 pro recommended also accept terms and conditions and install windows only in bracket advanced and press next so now it's going to be in the process yeah i had to fast forward this to 20x speed yeah just to save time all right so as soon as this is done it's going to start rebuilding just leave it to reboot by itself do not really disturb all right so now it's rebooting so just leave it to reboot and install do whatever it wants to do i had to fast forward this also to save time yeah 8x installation all right so now i've slowed it back down so i guess it's done installing that was really fast compared to how it's going to be for you yay it's installed so do not proceed from here stop do not do anything at this point stop where you're doing fn shift and f10 we need to click all three to open command prompt to activate network all right so follow me and type this command and run it o o b e backward slash bypass n r o and hit enter yeah so that's going to prompt it to restart and now it's restarting let it restart all right so this should let us keep the part of the windows installation that needs you to have network because that was the point of telling you to stop because we need a network and we don't have network access to the virtual machine right now so i don't have internet is what you want to click right now all right so just keep the processes enter your name and password i'm going to skip this part also because it's not necessary and after then hit next 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 and let's begin the high all right so i also have to skip this part a bit because it's a waste of time for the video that is all right so we are there so what we need now is to make the display resolution look better and you must do this if not you're going to hate the vm and also we need to make network work you can see network is not working right now so go into your file explorer for that stuff i told you to check mark at the beginning 
So that's it. It's mounted as a disk image, the first one. And double click UTM guest tools. We need that to activate resolutions and network. So we need to let that install. Hit the usual next. I agree. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward this also because it took quite a lot of time. And after that, it's going to prompt you to reboot and allow it to reboot. Yeah, now it's rebooting. It might behave weirdly with the scaling while doing that, but ignore it. It's not rebooting. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. You can see it looks better right now, but we still need to make it visible because it's too tiny. Yeah, but we can see the resolution works. Also, network is working, so that's a good sign. Now go to display settings and I recommend 2560 by 1600 with 200%, although it took me a bunch of testing to get that, but that's it. 2560, 1600 and 200 scaling. All right, so yeah, looks good, yeah. And that is basically, you have your windows and we can browse. You can see Microsoft Edge is working. Yeah, I haven't tried a Google search right now or a Bing search and yeah, it brings the results, so perfect, Google opened. So that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to ask any questions. And if anything went wrong, you can just restart the process. Yeah, I was as fast and thorough as possible. I had the outs.